Hey guys, welcome back to another Real Talk series where I talk about real stuff. Mostly my inadequacies and all the things that I'm struggling with in life so that you do not feel alone. If you missed the last one, I'm going to put a link right here to imposter syndrome, which is probably one of the things I deal with the most. But the second glaring thing that's like that I struggle with is mood swings, maybe depression. I don't want to label it, but here's the truth. I'm up and down like a crazy roller coaster. It's a roller coaster of pain is what it is. Um, when I'm happy, I'm happy, man. I could be ecstatic about ripe avocados at the grocery store. That could be, ah, I found a ripe avocado. And then the next day, everything sucks. And I'm just so miserable. And I don't know, is that depression? I, I, I don't know. And is it bipolar? It might be bipolar. I'm up and down. And Joe, I see other people know that, most people, but mostly Joe, they're like beep, like a flatlined dead person when it comes to emotions. Never really excited about avocados. Never really like everything is awful and I can't get out of bed. So um, I'm definitely different. And maybe you can relate and you feel like this too, up and down. And it isn't depression that I hear about or see on TV or hear people talking about where I cannot physically get out of bed or I'm sad and I'm crying. It isn't that. It's just like, it's more like, what's the point of life? Not that I want to end my life, but just in the wild, I feel like this I'd be excited. I'd be chasing down rabbits or something, like ripping their heads off and, and life would be exciting. But the real world is boring. There is no meaning. Why are we here? It's like we're these animals that now we should be in the wild running and foraging and like, you know, just chasing down rabbits. Why is it coming back to the rabbits? I don't even like rabbits. I would never eat a rabbit. The idea of eating meat at all grosses me out. That's why I eat ground beef and I pretend it's made of tofu. My point is, I think as animals, we are meant in the nature to be wild. And we're not, we're like in a zoo. We're like in a cage, a cage of society. And we're in these houses and we're going to work and we're doing these mundane tasks with these mundane jobs. And, and we're like, get in a world, follow the path of life. This is the path you go down. And of course, we're gonna feel just ugh, stressed and anxious and horrible about that because I feel like that goes against our nature. In the wild man, I'd be naked and free and just loving life probably starving. I can't really run very fast, but I'd be excited all the time. So, so I think I don't want to medicate myself. I don't want to uh, take a mood stabilizer because my highs are amazing, but I also think my lows are just my body's way of telling me, you got to get outside, dude. You got to excite yourself. You have to do something that gets your juices flowing, your adrenaline juices, not other kinds of Maybe other kinds of, this is going somewhere. Why? Do I don't, here's what I used to do. I used to think about, I never think about what I'm going to say before I say it. I'm not, I'm not the type of YouTuber that plans and has a script. I just start talking to a camera. It gets weird, my friend. So I apologize for that. But I, I wanted to talk about mood swings and maybe you can relate. It's why sometimes I put out a ton of videos and then there's months where you don't see me at all. Those are the times where I'm just not feeling it, man. I'm just not feeling excited about life. And I don't want to show up and be disingenuine. I don't want to fake happiness, right? I don't want to fake excitement. So at those times, I just don't make videos. I don't want you to worry about me thinking that I'm wallowing in self-pity and I'm sitting here crying into my cornflakes while watching Netflix. It isn't that type of depression. It's just a low of me, just not loving life. So I'm either everything is awesome or oh, everything's kind of craptacular and, and I don't want to show up for you when things are craptacular but I also want to let you know that I feel that way a lot so if you are feeling like life sometimes is craptacular and you're watching people on YouTube or other social media and you're like why are they so fucking happy all the time what's wrong with me you're not alone and nothing is wrong with you everyone feels this way unless you're Joe unless you're Joe and then you're just this guy all day, man, just all day. And that does sound awesome, but also he doesn't get to have the highs. So if you're like me, lucky us. I think it's all about balance. So we're sort of blessed, us mood swingers. 
our husbands or our significant others less blessed to have to live with us. See you guys next time. Hey guys, thanks so much for those of you who have stayed to the end. If you stayed to the end, man, you deserve a medal because things got weird there, right? I'm a little rambly today, so I apologize. Did I take a pill? No, I did not. And you can probably tell I have ADHD and I'm just letting my freak flag fly. So let's talk about clothes for a second. I'm 40 years old. 40 years old, my friend, I have dressed the same way and only shopped at one store for the past 15 years because I'm plus size and because I like pastel colors, I like pinks and blues and all the other stores um, that were plus size have more like grown up colors like khaki green and beige and grays and I'm like, I want to be bright and so I could only shop at Ricky's. Unfortunately, Ricky's has some old lady kind of clothes. No offense if you shop at Ricky's, I also love the Ricky's, but every single one of my tops was floral. <laughs> every one. Big baggy floral blouse, and every one of my pants were bright colors. So I had bright pink blue jeans, bright pink, uh, bright pink pants, and, and bright yellow pants, and bright red pants, and blue, and orange, and teal, and every color of the rainbow and everything was blinding. And so when I was packing up all my clothes because I just was able to slowly buy new clothes and none of those fit, I brought them to my mom who's 65 years old and I'm like, all my clothes, mom. She said to me they were a little old lady. She was like, oh, thanks, they're kind of old lady. They are old lady. And my kids have always been saying, mom, why do you dress like an old lady? And I'm like, you're just jealous of my fashion sense. Nope, I dress like an old lady. So now I'm rediscovering myself and I don't even know what kind of clothes I like. I'm going into stores and my first thought is, where's the floral? Nope, no floral. And um, it's fun. It's fun and it's scary. And maybe I need a Pinterest board, but um, it's a whole new me. So thanks for staying till the end. Bye. <laughs> oh, why do I speak?